So today we are going to discuss the abnormal voltage of QRS complex in bipolar limb leads or lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3. To discuss this video uh, we must recall the standard ECG paper and we must recall the way on which calibration has been done on the ECG paper. We previously discussed that the ECG paper is calibrated such that it has horizontal lines, horizontal lines and it has vertical lines. These horizontal and vertical lines they cross each other and they make small blocks and large blocks. Each five, five small blocks, five small blocks vertically, they make 0 0.5 millivolt and 10 small blocks, 10 small blocks or two large blocks, they make one millivolt from zero to one. We have 10 small blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 small blocks or 2 large blocks. So this basically vertically, it is basically representing the voltage of the QRS complex. The QRS complex is basically they are plotted on this ECG paper or strip or screen which is showing the ECG calibrations. So vertically one block, one large block is having 0 0.5 millivolt and two large blocks basically pre represents one millivolt. Horizontally going, five large blocks, five large blocks, they present one inch, one inch. And this one inch is basically equal to one second. So, Five, five large blocks we have three here and if we make two large blocks more it will make one inch and it will be equal to one second so if we calibrate it this on the paper it is calibrated in such a way although we have enlarged it in on the white paper a white board on the paper it is calibrated such that five large blocks five large blocks will make one inch and that one inch will represent basically one second the speed of the paper through the machine is such that in one second one inch of paper will pass and that one inch will contain five large blocks and each each block will represent 0 0.2 second and these each large block that represents 0 0.2 second it is further made of five small blocks and that each small block is basically representing 0 0.04 second so horizontally it is presenting the time and vertically it is showing the voltage of the QRS complex that is something we have already discussed and that's basically it shows the voltage and the speed of the heart contraction so talking about the voltage and the vector and the, the size of the vector, we basically were discussing the vector and the direction and the size of the vector. So it's very important to discuss the, the voltage of the QRS complex. Basically the voltage of the QRS complex represents the size of the vector. So normally in the bipolar limb lead, we are talking here about the bipolar limb lead, the lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3 only. In these three leads, the voltage of the QRS complex, it varies from 0 0.5 millivolt to 2 millivolt. It may be as small as 0 0.5 millivolt or it may be as large as 2 millivolt. This is the usual value of QRS complex in lead 1 lead 2 and lead 3 only we are not talking about the chest leads because in the chest leads we have large QRS complexes so in the standard bipolar limb leads the, the voltage of a QRS complex may be from a small a 0 0.5 millivolt to a large a 2 millivolt if the combined voltage of lead 1 
less lead 2 less lead 3. Thus the voltage is calculated from the top of R wave to the bottom of the S wave. This basically gives the full size of the QRS complex. So if all the three waves of the standard bipolar limb leads is more than 4 millivolt. Here you see 1 millivolt. That's the ECG. Here's the ECG paper. Here we have all the readings which we have not drawn here. So here it's the whole ECG paper. We have just shown the large blocks or the large lines. So these are the large lines or which represents basically the large blocks. So here we have from 0 to 1 it we have the 1 millivolt. From 0 to 1 we have the 1 millivolt, then 2 millivolt, the 3 millivolt and then 4 millivolt. If the size of the combined QRS complexes of the lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3 is more than 4 millivolt if from here till here from the s from the bottom of the s wave to the top of the r wave if the voltage is more than 4 millivolt then it will be considered as a large qrs complex it will be considered as a large qrs complex and such waves such conditions basically come in hypertrophy when one side of the heart basically for example this is the left ventricular hypertrophy the left side of the heart has increased similarly the right side can be increased and when one of the sides of the heart the left side or the right side increase it gives basically the it also gives the axis deviation but it increases the voltage of the QRS complex because when the size of the heart has increased the vector has to travel a long way and it has to travel slowly it gives a large voltage of the QRS complex so the criteria for large QRS complex is that if the combined voltage of the QRS complex of the lead one lead 2 and lead 3 is more than 4 millivolt it will be a high voltage QRS complex similarly if it's less than 0 0.5 it will be a slow QRS complex it will be a small QRS complex small QRS complex waves in lead 1 2 and 3 are seen mostly in less muscle mass here we have more muscle mass if we decrease the muscle mass if we decrease the muscle mass Such decrease in muscle mass basically occurs in myocardial infarction. When we have we someone gets a heart attack or myocardial infarction, a portion of the heart get is become dead, and the size of the muscle mass basically decrease. This portion get get out of the heart because it is not getting depolarized. So it is not getting the uh, the basically the depolarization wave. So it is not recorded on the ECG, which leads to a decrease in the size of QRS complex. Although the width or the duration is prolonged, but the voltage of the QRS complex is decreased. So one factor for a low voltage QRS complex is decrease in muscle mass due to myocardial infarction. Another factor is pleural or pericardial effusion. For example, if we have this if we have here the heart and if there is some fluid around the heart pericardial fluid or there is some fluid in the pleural cavity pleural fluid these fluids basically conduct the electric current very quickly so the voltage get recorded very quickly and there is no time for a lot of recording on the ECG paper. So the voltage presents basically is low voltage QRS complex. So one factor for low voltage QRS complex was decrease in muscle mass due to myocardial infarction. The second factor could be pleural or pericardial effusion or fluid around the heart. And a third factor could be pulmonary emphysema.
Now the condition, the cause for low voltage QRS complex in pulmonary emphysema is very much different than that for the low voltage in pleural and pericardial effusion. The pleural and pericardial infusion effusions were basically transmitting the electric current very rapidly. It was transmitting the electric current very rapidly, so it was recorded quickly. So there was no time. And in the emphysema, we have a lot of air bubbles in the lungs. So it is very difficult. And on top of that, the the lung size or the chest size has increased. The chest size has increased in emphysema. This is a condition which occurs in smokers basically. So in this, air is a very bad conductor as compared to the fluid. So the electric current does not get conducted towards the ECG electrode. So they are not basically completely recorded. When they are not recorded, it leads to small voltage being recorded on the ECG paper. So that's a simple small lecture about abnormal voltage of QRS complex in lead 1, 2 and 3 only. Remember we are no, we are only talking about the voltage in bipolar limb leads or lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3 only. And in these leads the normal voltage varies from 0 0.5 millivolt to 2 millivolt. And if the combined voltage of the QRS complex of lead 1, 2 and 3 is more than 4 millivolt, it is considered as a large QRS complex wave. And one of the most important cause is hypertrophy. Hypertrophy of the left ventricles basically occur due to high blood pressure. It can be due to aortic stenosis or it can be due to aortic recurrence, which we have discussed. Similarly, the hypertrophy of the right side could be due to pulmonary stenosis or pulmonary hypertension. Then, the cause, if the voltage of the QRS complex is small, it could be due to less muscle mass due to loss of muscle mass due to myocardial infarction. It could be quick conduction of the current due to pleural and pericardial effusion or fluid around the heart and it could be no conduction or very little conduction due to pulmonary emphysema. So that's all about the abnormal voltage of QRS complexes in bipolar limb lead, lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3. Thanks a lot for watching the video.